Join me in this video as we unravel the exceptional prowess of the Doggers Bank 77 offshore, a robust long range explorer yacht designed for the intrepid owner operator. Its exceptional trawl yacht style features offer a unique blend of luxury, efficiency and unyielding performance. So strap yourselves in and prepare to be captivated by this extremely capable long range explorer yacht that can be operated by an experienced owner operator. Before we start, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're only 9,000 subscribers away from hitting the 50K mark. Built with exceptional craftsmanship at the esteemed Altina shipyard in the Netherlands, the repack designed Doggers Bank 77 offshore not only stands as the largest Doggers Bank ever constructed, but it also revolutionizes marine technology. This trawler style yacht marks the first Doggers Bank fitted with a state of the art PTO PTI hybrid propulsion system. This system features state of the art propulsion which allows the boat to silently cruise for up to two hours at six knots, embodying the blend of luxury and practicality that characterizes this explorer yacht. What's even more impressive is the system's redundancy. The PTO PTI system, which is in line with the yacht's main engines, recharges the batteries, ensuring continuous uninterrupted journeys. Diving into the heart of the Doggers Bank 77 offshore, it's impossible to overlook the full custom design package meticulously crafted by Vipac. This package assures a comfortable and safe journey and facilitates long range exploration. This isn't just any design, it's a proven concept fine-tuned with extensive hull optimization using Vipac's in-house computational fluid dynamics analysis. And here's where it gets even more interesting. The yacht's length and beam were explicitly defined by the owner's harbour berth on the pristine northwest coast of North America. Falling just short of the 24 meter regulatory threshold, it proudly stands as the largest owner operated Doggers Bank in the fleet, an undeniable testament to its grandeur and innovative design. Other models in the Doggers Bank range include the 67 offshore, the 87 offshore, and the impressive 97 offshore. Which model is your favourite and why? Let me know in the comments below. Juice Martins, the sales director of Doggers Bank said, the 77 offshore joins a large fleet of American owned Doggers Banks, but this is the first semi-custom Doggers Bank built for a West Coast owner. So it's quite a moment. The 67 and 77 Doggers Bank offshore models are designed with myriad of features that make them suitable for self-piloted adventure. Both incorporate a foldable mast, a powerful bulbous bow and stern thruster that highlight the brand's explorer heritage and adaptability. Perhaps the most definitive aspect of the Doggers Bank 77 offshore, in my humble opinion, lies in its efficient PTO PTI hybrid propulsion system which I think exemplifies the Doggers Bank's brand's ethos. Providing a high level of comfort and noise reduction at lower speeds, it forms the backbone of this vessel's seamless performance. Tailored to the owner's unique demands, the yacht features additional customizations, including a protective nozzle safeguarding the propeller and rudder from the prevalent driftwood in the cruising area. For those who appreciate fresh sea breezes, the yacht also offers openable portholes, while the full beam owner's stateroom serves as a sanctuary of luxury. The hull on the Doggers Bank 77 offshore ensure a harmonious blend of comfort and fuel efficiency. The vessel sips just under 50 litres of fuel per hour at a comfortable cruising speed of 8 knots. Inside the full custom interior reveals a world of elegance and practicality. A supersized laundry and utility room on the lower deck and a watch bunk in the bridge for those long night crossings add to the yacht's allure. Connecting all three decks is an open spiral staircase crowned with a skylight ensuring clear visibility from the main saloon 
to both the bridge and the lower deck. Adorned with fine quarter-sewn American walnut and neutral base fabrics, the interior design is a tribute to understated elegance. Paired with chic decorative soft furnishings in warm tones, the decor evokes the vibrant hues of North America's radiant Indian summers. Let's have a look at the general arrangement on what will be an incredible vessel. On the flybridge there is a centre helm position with an L-shaped seating area to starboard. After the starboard seating arrangement is the staircase that leads down to the pilot house. On the port side we find some more seating, this time in an L-shaped configuration. Moving aft there is another large open area before we arrive at the crane that serves the boat's tender. From this view we can also see the swim platform and the port and starboard staircases which lead into the cockpit. Next we come to the main deck. Leading up from the swim platform arriving in the cockpit we find an alfresco dining area with some freestanding furniture and some seating on the transom. Entering the saloon to starboard is a seating area and as we move forward we find a large L-shaped seating area to port. Next we come to the galley which will be located on the port side with a day head opposite. Entering the pilot's house we find an amidships helm position with a seating area aft of the captain's chair. This boat will also have a Portuguese bridge with some forward facing seating located on the foredeck. And finally let us take a look at the general arrangement below deck. There is a large double cabin located forward with an ensuite. Moving aft on the starboard side we can see where the large laundry room will be located. Opposite this space is a twin single cabin again with its own ensuite. Next is that full beam master cabin and aft of the engine room is where we find the crew accommodation. But if you wanted to operate this boat just as a couple then you could use this space either as a large lazarette or as an additional guest cabin. But what do you think of this impressive boat? Let me know in the comments below and remember I always respond to any comments left with a super thanks. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Doggers Bank for allowing me to use their renderings in this video. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel feel free to get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. Coming up in my next video I'll be taking a look at hole number one of the Arxon 85. So make sure you don't miss that video by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification. I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel by becoming a member. With YouTube's algorithm and the constant changing in the amounts they pay creators like myself, having a steady income from my channel members is a bit of a lifesaver. So if you'd like to join them by becoming a member of my channel, click on the link pinned in the comments and I'd like to welcome David Smith as my latest channel member. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like because you will really help with its reach. And also don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists and don't forget to come and find me on my other social media platforms. You'll find all the relevant links in the video description. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.